what's up it's simply kimmy it is the day before i go back to work um during this coronavirus there is going to be a shutdown in san antonio tonight at 11 59 meaning you're not supposed to like go out unless you're going to get groceries um or if you're going like if you have an essential job so i'm actually going to pick up my stuff tomorrow to get ready to go back to work here at home but we cooked dinner last night um and since it's my last day off i want to make sure that my house is spick and span so i'm just gonna go ahead and take you guys with me today so i hope you guys enjoy the cleaning video i'm really just gonna do an overview of the kitchen right now um and then anything else i do i'll just take you guys along uh, with me so I hope you guys enjoy if you like the content don't forget to like and subscribe I do a ton of cleaning videos if you're new um I know I always breathe heavy when I'm doing these I think I get nervous I don't even know why but I did just upload a video of me cleaning my refrigerator um last week and so I just wanted to take you guys with me I don't have any hot water in my sink in the kitchen so please excuse I'm washing dishes with cold water today um, but yeah, so I haven't had hot water in almost three weeks and my apartments don't seem to care. So they ordered the wrong part or something, but all right, let's get started. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kim here. Uh, I'm going to be doing a voiceover for the rest of the video, I believe. I may pop in. I'm not too sure. This video was a few days ago. Um, I'm actually at home, uh, so I wanted to go ahead and do this so I can get it uploaded today since it's Friday. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to take you guys with me as I cleaned my house. Um, my house wasn't too, too messy. Really just the kitchen portion of it was messy. And it's just because we had made a big dinner like with mashed potatoes and I think I'm not sure what we cooked to be honest that day it was like probably steak um, and then uh, green beans and of course you know I need my essential oil so I put one up over here and then I did put the other one in my room since that's where my office is currently where I'm working from um, so yeah I did go ahead and do that um, I do use Dawn dish soap for the most part I do use other soaps as well but um, Dawn, I think, works the best, um, in my opinion. And I'm sorry if I keep looking back at the camera. I can never remember. Sometimes I'll record or I'll start cleaning and then I'll hit the button, um, and it won't start recording. And then I'll be cleaning everything and then I won't realize it. So sometimes I just, like, double check the camera. And please excuse how I look. I am in, like, my pajamas, kind of. Um, these weren't pajamas. Like, they were just, like, house clothes I mean I'm at a home so and I wasn't working today nobody was here but me so like I don't really care what I look like in front of myself um but I'll definitely <laughs> maybe put uh some makeup on or some jeans or something next time but who cares I mean we're all under quarantine right now here in San Antonio I don't know if you guys are in quarantine or like that um I forget what they call it, the safe something where you can only go out to the store for groceries or if you have an essential job, um, but the stay home order is in effect here in San Antonio, so I really haven't gone anywhere. Um, my boyfriend does still have to go to work, so he goes to the office because he works in IT um, and he has an essential job. Um, my job allows us to work from home, so I have my desk set up, um, I have my phone set up like it's like a digital phone because I work at a call center um, and it's been a little slow right now so they are changing things up at my job um, does anybody else's job affect it I know a lot of people aren't working right now um, and they just passed that bill I saw it so I know I'm recording this on Friday but I did say they passed that bill so hopefully that'll help and everybody gets that stimulus check but who knows? It's some crazy time. I don't even want to go outside, to be honest. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the video, and then I'll jump in a little later. But um, definitely uh, let me know that you're here, that you're watching. Leave a comment below about yourself and if you have a channel, and I'll definitely follow back. So I appreciate it, you guys, and I'll jump in in a bit.
right guys so i am almost done with the dishes um and again i didn't have wa hot water in my kitchen for almost three weeks i waited almost two weeks for them to get some part they needed and then when they came out the guy had ordered the wrong part so i had to wait um it is friday now and this is probably i think i did this either yeah it was wednesday um, so they did get it fixed, I guess, yesterday when I had to go get my items. Or, no, it was Wednesday, sorry. Because when I, I went to go to my job to pick up my computer, and when I came back, I had hot water in the kitchen. So I don't know if they fixed it or if they just turned the hot water on. Because um, I know that they were renovating the apartment below us. Um, oh my god, this is so gross. And this is like, you guys, just imagine washing these dishes with cold water. Um, I don't know if you guys can see like all of that film in the cast iron skillet i did have to rewash some of these um just to make sure that like all the greasy stains were off and everything for the most part everything was good um it was really just for myself because i hate that uh i even had to throw that sponge away because it was just destroyed after i washed all those pots and pans um but i really just cannot stand dirty dishes the smell of them make me sick all the time and i know i need new pans i find it very hard to throw away things that i've used for so long because i grow attached to them and i think that they're great but i know i need to invest in a new pan set okay let's get past that anyways um once i finish all of these great dishes because there were so many um a lot of the kids were here this weekend with us um i do go ahead and finish the rest of the kitchen and i know that i'm also going to do my dining room and my living room um those aren't very dirty again it was mainly just like wiping it down vacuuming dusting um just things that i had done a few days ago but probably still needed a, a thorough dusting um so yeah um other than that i hope you guys get some cleaning motivation if your guys are at home bored like myself um i just watched the most hilarious prodigy video of adele and it was so funny i almost cried because that is exactly how i'm feeling because i usually sit next to all my friends at work and we can chit chat all day um and we can still chit chat but it has to be through like this chat feature that we have on our computers um or through text message of course uh or phone calls or video chats um just things that you normally wouldn't have to do on a daily basis but like right now i'm at home and nobody's here my kids aren't here my uh boyfriend's not here it's really just me by myself which is fine i mean i don't mind being by myself because i'm you know at home um but i do get bored <laughs> hence i start cleaning everything but right now my whole house is clean it actually smells like bleach in here i even like sprayed both of my tubs down today with bleach so if you guys want a video on maybe both of my bathrooms my guest bathroom and my personal bathroom um i have done some updates to them as well uh and as soon as i can go shopping i am going to do a decorate my bathroom with me and my bedroom my master bedroom because i do need some uh artwork to put on the walls because i think it's a little dull in my bedroom um oh my god look this is the cast iron skillet part it was so gross you guys like just watching it right now is making me cringe because of the noise that the metal makes when it scratches against it um the metal on metal just makes me cringe so uh this was i believe the last pan that i saved for myself um because it was so disgusting and it it didn't actually take that long to clean once you scrape it all out um but this was one that i did go ahead and just rewash the next day just to make sure because we do use that cast iron for i don't know we've had it for like almost eight years and it still works it's amazing so if you guys don't have a cast iron skillet i definitely recommend getting one just make sure that once you clean it dry it off immediately and then you know even sometimes you can coat it with the oil and then heat it up um i've done that a few times already to it so uh it just helps preserve 
the cast iron uh, little tip for you. I do need to spray it down with bleach. I didn't get a chance to do it because I didn't have any bleach and they didn't have any bleach at the store. Um, I was able to find some finally, so I did go ahead and go back over it later. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right back into the video. And I hope you guys get some cleaning motivation out of this as well. All right, guys, and I do use Spick and Span. I actually got that at the Dollar Tree. It smells like lavender, and it smells amazing. I think it works great. It gets all the grease and grime out of everything, so for a dollar, I would highly recommend it. They do have the original scent as well. They were sold out at the Dollar Tree. This was during all of the mayhem when everyone was freaking out about the store, so basically everything was sold out, um, like the Clorox, the bleach, the spray, food um milk eggs bread all the essentials you need when you have children but it's okay we, we were able to pull through and get some groceries uh later on when our heb down the street restocked um but yeah and they also didn't have any paper towels we haven't had paper towels in over two weeks i bought um two packs of toilet paper two weeks ago I haven't been able to find any more toilet paper since then. I'm actually going to the Dollar General down the store from where I live in San Antonio because I go there all the time and the lady who works there was nice enough to tell me they're getting a shipment in tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna go over there and get some toilet paper tomorrow at seven o'clock in the morning because I need to get some. I did find like tissues and baby wipes and no, I don't have a baby, but I do need something um, if I don't have toilet paper and we do have about two rolls left so i'm trying to make that last um, until tomorrow morning um, but yeah i did just wipe everything down and since i didn't have any toilet paper sorry since i didn't have any paper towels i did use a cut up shirt um that my boyfriend uh did doesn't wear anymore um and it works perfectly fine so there was really no issues with it uh that I could think of, to be honest. Right, guys so this is the overview um i do still have to take the trash out my boyfriend will do that when he gets home but please disregard the trash i'm gonna wash those rags right now all the dishes are done i have to wait till they dry i'm obsessed with my diffuser but everything else is done. Right, guys so this portion of the video is really my dining room it's really not that bad i just wiped the table down with the spick and span i also have this great comet multi-surface spray that i've also been using um i did get that at the dollar tree as well since heb and walmart were all sold out of the lysol antibacterial cleaning sprays um i've also just been using a mixture of bleach with hot water in its own spray bottle and that seems to be working just fine for me and it's cheaper than having to buy the bleach spray. I could make as much as I want out of the whole gallon 
of a bleach that I purchased so just an idea if you guys are looking on saving some money um, I really uh, just cleaned off our bar it does get cluttered throughout the week we just come home and throw a bunch of stuff on the bar and leave it there so I like to at least clean it off once or twice a week um, usually once a week I'll take everything off and wipe it down and then put only the essentials that I need on there um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video um, I know the video is coming to an end shortly um, but definitely uh, subscribe so you can join the fam and then uh, leave a comment below if you have a channel you'd like me to follow definitely leave it linked so I can go ahead and check it out I love cleaning videos I love to make cleaning videos um, and I definitely love to watch them as I clean um, and you know get my own motivation to keep me going especially during this time when we're all stuck at home all day and we can't go outside I mean I know we can go outside but you know what I mean like go to the store I can't just like go to the Dollar Tree and buy things or Walmart like it has to be you know what I mean like I would just feel guilty for doing that but all right let's jump back into the video guys All right, you guys this is the last part of my video i am just going to pick up my living room it really wasn't that bad um i did have my stepdaughter she is here from austin she normally lives in austin in ut in her apartment but because of the coronavirus she did come and she is staying in san antonio so this weekend she was at our house um so we did have some stuff out in the living room for her like we have an extra bed um and sheets and blankets um, and then she does let the dog sleep with her, so I did go ahead and just wash the blanket in a minute. And I was trying to watch YouTube and a cleaning video um, as I was doing my living room, but you'll see in a minute when I'm sitting down and I'm actually dusting my TV stand, um, I was having technical difficulties because I'm technologically challenged. Um, but yeah, so I was trying to, yeah, I was going to fold it and then I just decided to go ahead and just throw it in the wash real quick. I didn't even know when I taped this that you could actually see me put it in the wash, but that is my washer and dryer back there. 
and I've been doing really well with keeping up with laundry every day. Um, you can see like I have a stack of towels on top of my dryer. I have like 15 towels just in case like any one of my kids or if somebody's here and they need to take a shower that they always have um, clean towels. I love having fresh clean towels and I've been using Tide and then the downy dryer sheets so everything smells so good my bed smells so good my clothes smell good um it just smells so fresh and clean in my apartment um where we live uh but definitely is a challenge with there's no real space to put anything i do need to like clean out my cabinets in my laundry room um, I don't really have a large closet in my bedroom either, and there's also no storage. So it's really hard to find places for things. So I really try my best to find places like in my hallway closet for storage. I use storage in my laundry room cabinets. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> that's probably the most difficult thing is just having everything stay organized. Um, usually throughout the week when nobody's here, my house stays pretty clean. But on the weekends, um, when we have our kids here, sometimes there's up to five kids here. Um, and it can get a little hectic. Um, I actually haven't cleaned my kids' room yet. Um, I might do that tonight. I actually might have them do it because my kids are perfectly able and old enough to clean their own room and it's usually i actually washed all of the clothes they had um that i could find and i separated it for them <clears throat> so when they come i'll have them go through everything and then they can pick out what they still want to keep and what they want to donate and then we'll just go ahead and go from there so this is when i was trying to watch something and i could not oh i know what i wanted to watch i wanted to watch 90 day fiance because it was a new episode <sighs> tell me why my tv was not working it, it I, I finally did get it to work after i finished the video i went back and watched it but for the life of me i could not get it to work when i was actually trying to use it and i just got like super frustrated and <laughs> i think i just turned the tv off i don't even think i turned it back on i just came to my room when that was done um because since my room is nice and clean it's just like my little haven away from everything that i can come and chill um and just relax get some natural sunlight but yeah so this is how i have been coping um during this time when i film this video i have been off of work for a few weeks um and i haven't been going anywhere because of the virus that's been spreading so quickly especially here in san antonio um so i haven't been going out uh our kids are all with our other parents right now because we don't want them to go out um, I think today we are going to go pick all of them up, but we don't have any plans to go out or anything. Uh, and then I do use Glade just to freshen it up. I like Febreze. I also use Febreze. Um, <clears throat> and then I do have candles and of course my diffusers. I love things that smell good. I don't know about you guys, right, guys but I like have two dogs and I have five the kids. Video. I so am just like, going to I really enjoy when my house did smells clean good, and I don't have any kids do again. that are little. All weeks, our kids just are keep ten and nice older, and so all of our kids um, are of age really where they know what guys enjoy should smell to good. Clean anyway, with me. so and you I'll have the motivation yourself and just you know keep yourself busy during this time. I did wipe down our TV stand. I had already wiped down our bookshelf, so I didn't really report that. Um, um, and definitely hope that and if you can tell, I didn't even come to an end watch the show later and that they do get a um, but let's go ahead and jump back into um, the video so yeah i really do appreciate you guys checking out my video and my channel um definitely don't forget to like and subscribe to the video and leave a comment below um if you want to shout out definitely let me know below and i love to make new friends on youtube of course you can follow me on my facebook and instagram um and then go ahead and i'll see you guys next time in the next video peace out you guys